sometimes your computer or laptop may show a no bootable devices found error while starting. This will stop you from booting into your Windows. But don't worry all hope is not lost yet. Watch this video to see how to get rid of this error. Before we get started, subscribe to our channel, so you don't miss out any future videos. As always, let's first see what causes this error. 1. Incompatible hardware. 2. Loose SATA or IDE cables. 3. Boot sequence altered. 4. System repair. 5. Bad sectors check. We will now look into different solutions to this error. 1. Remove and put back hardware components ensuring that each device is properly connected. 2. Check your BIOS settings and ensure the right device is first in the boot order. 3. Use system repair and command prompt in system recovery mode. 4. Check bad sectors for hard drive. 5. Replace your hard drive and install a fresh version of your Windows operating system. Fix 1. Remove and put back hardware components. The first step is to remove all hardware devices including extra storage devices like USB memory drives or external hard drives. Also ensure that the hard drive cables are properly connected. Start your computer to see if problem has been resolved. Fix 2. Check your BIOS settings and ensure the right device is first in the boot order. Most computers go to BIOS settings using either F2, F8 or F12 key depending upon the model. Go to BIOS setting and and check the drive order in which the storage devices will be booted. Ensure that the drive with your operating system is at top of boot order. Fix 3. Use system repair and command prompt in system recovery mode. Use a Windows disk or bootable disk drive to boot into the system recovery mode. In system recovery mode try start up repair option. If this doesn't work try to run the following command in command prompt. Bootrek fix MBR. Or Bootrek rebuild BCD. This will repair, rebuild the MBR which is master boot record and may possibly solve your problem. Fix 4. Check bad sectors for hard drive. Connect your hard drive to another PC and select the disk drive. Right click on it and go to properties. Select tools tab and click check now. Here, you will see the option of scanning your drive. Click scan now to run the repair process. If your drive had bad sectors then after repair you can get the hard drive to work again. Fix 5. Replace your hard drive and install a fresh version of your Windows operating system. If nothing else works, you have to accept that your hard drive has failed and you have to buy a new one. Buy a fresh hard drive and install a fresh version of your operating system. Follow the next step to recover your data. Even if your computer is fried, you can try Tenorshare 4 DDIG for recovering your data. On a working computer, download and install Tenorshare 4 DDIG from the official website for your Windows. Install the software and run it. Insert a USB drive. You will see the option to recover from crashed computer. Select it and click Next. Choose the USB drive you inserted and click Next. It will ask for your permission to format the drive. Click Yes to continue creating a bootable drive. Upon completion, remove the USB drive and insert it into the crashed computer. Start the computer and go to BIOS setting to boot from the USB drive. This will load the Tenorshare 4 DDIG and now you can recover all your data. Recover all the files you want and save them in another location for safekeeping. These methods will help you to solve the no boot devices found error, and if the Fix 5 works for you then you can try Tenorshare 4 DDIG to recover your data. See you next time.